Rounding out the Gold Coast Luke Harrop Memorial Triathlon Weekend, the mixed relay is in its second year, but with the format's inclusion in the Tokyo Olympics, 16 teams took part in the fast and frantic format at the Sports Supercentre at Runaway Bay, with eight going through to the afternoon's eighth final. On your mark. A clean start to the 300 metre M-shaped swim in the centre's Olympic pool, with Korea's Ji Yong Kim immediately asserting her prowess. After a seventh place in Sunday's OTU Sprint Oceania Cup, the 29-year-old produced a quick transition and was first out on the seven kilometre bike course. A 4.14 swim putting her an incredible 16 seconds ahead of Australia Team 2's Ellie Hoytink and New Zealand Team 1's Brie Roderick. Kim was showing no ill effects after racing the previous day, keeping her lead over Hoytink and Roderick, who were stuck together like glue across the five laps of the Luke Harrop Memorial Criterium course. Behind them, a group of four featuring Bond Uni's Courtney Gilfillan, Alicia Wesley of WA Team 1, Queensland Team 1's Chloe McLennan, and Australia Team 1's Charlotte Derbyshire. There was no stopping Kim, though, with the Korean putting a further 10 seconds into Hoytink, and making no errors as she headed out on the 1.5 kilometre track run on the athletics track. Kim would turn in a 6.23, with Roderick in second with a 6.24 to Hoytink 6.45. Gilfillan though was the big mover, coming in third after a blistering 6.13. Korea's Minho Hyo would take a 27 second lead for the second leg, ahead of New Zealand's Adam Martin and Bon Uni's Charlie Quinn. Another incredible swim though would see Korea's lead balloon to 38 seconds at T1, with Martin and Quinn joined out of the water by Australia 1's Oliver Dart. Joe would look to push his advantage further, but the group would work together to claw back 10 seconds on the Korean, with the lead back to 27 seconds at T2. Quinn would make his move on the run, posting a 5.29 to Hyo's 5.41, to cut the lead to 15 seconds at the second changeover, with Hyo handing off to Guri Kim, and Quinn to Grace Musgrave. A great run by Australia 2's Josh Ferris saw him post the second quickest time of the day and put Grace Hoytink into third and followed into the water by Queensland 1's Chloe McLennan, New Zealand 1's Ari Graham and Australia 1's Emily Jamgotchian. The race tightened during the third swim with both Musgrave and Hoytink eating in to Kim's lead. Hoytink would catch Musgrave take second and nearly catch Kim with a super quick swim. The lead now just five seconds with Ari Graham joining the lead chase group. That was when Graham made her move, becoming the first to take the lead from Korea and coming into T2 seven seconds clear of Kim with Musgrave in third. Graham would maintain that lead on the run, posting a 23.32, the fastest third leg time, to hand off to Sam Beetham for the final leg. Six seconds later, Kim arrived to tag compatriot Jung Ki Kim, with Musgrave handing off to Lachlan Jones a further four seconds back. Lurking though was Lorcan Redmond, who took off for Australia 1, 39 seconds adrift. Another super fast swim would see Kim retake the lead as they came out of the water for the final time just clear of Jones with Beetham relegated to third. Disaster then struck for Queensland with Jones treading on his shoe in T1, unclipping it and costing precious time. Beetham was out in third with Joe Begby fourth and Redmond fifth and slicing 15 seconds from his gap to the leaders. Despite the shoe situation, Jones was pressuring Kim on the bike and it would prove critical. The Korean clipping a barrier and crashing hard. His race over, Jones held the lead, only to be joined by Redmond, who was on a mission, the pair arriving into the final transition together. Redmond wasted no time, the 19-year-old attacking in the first 500 metres to open a 40-metre gap that would never be headed. The 
the Australia 1 anchor posting the fourth fastest time of the day to deliver the win, 22 seconds ahead of Jones for Queensland 1, with New Zealand's Sam Beatham a further 15 seconds back in third. A great win for Australia 1, who collected $2,000.